It's where you project your consciousness. It's all about where you're focusing on going. And what I learned from studying a lot of these ancient tablets is that these people in the distant past, no matter whether their agenda was good or bad, these people, they planned for millennia ahead. They didn't plan for what's happening tomorrow and next week and next month. They were planning for millennia of generations, legacy, what you see behind me, legacy, right? And yeah. so I started switching my mindset. I need to go into legacy planning mode because when you go into legacy planning mode, the little tiny things, man, you don't even, you know, like today, I just, oh man, you know, took my little breath. Okay, that's over. And you keep on moving. Another person might have let that steam up inside of them, let it stew, start focusing on it, and then let it dry, drive them for the rest of the day. And then the big picture gets shrunk down to a very small picture. And so what I realized is, man, by projecting out your consciousness, thinking big, thinking into the future, how many generations can this knowledge affect? How many generations can I directly be a part of helping them ascend? How many generations can I be a part of helping them with financial literacy? And those kind of big thoughts will help project your your, de your destiny, your reality, your reality tunnel. And these little things that try to come in, man, they end up being puny. They end up only, they can't affect you. They can't stop me. There's a momentum that I have right now that I feel like there's nothing that can stop me because I'm on the right track. I'm helping a lot of people. I'm doing positivity in the world. And I'm projecting my own reality. Yeah, it becomes pretty tough when we have all these distractions because we have our everyday life and the system that, the matrix system that's been put on top of us is financial matrix, for us, so to speak, which has to, you know, we have to do work. We have to exchange energy just to get food in our mouth now, right? So it becomes very difficult. Now, in the ancient times, they had plenty of time gurus and sages would go away they would escape they would go away and they would be secluded because when you're secluded and you're by yourself you have time to reflect you have time to transcend dimensions and then get a full picture as to what's really going on and see things from a totally different perspective you can even do thought experiments you have all the time in the world to do those things yeah. in this modern or what we call modern era now we have all the distractions right we have the kids we have the job we have the the bills to pay. We have to go do this. We have to go do that. We got all these scenarios and things going on, especially if you're an entrepreneur, you're busy nonstop. But what we have to do is we have to take that personal time. Just like everything is on our calendar. I got my alert 10 minutes ago. Oh, I got to go live today, you know, with Law of Attraction, right? We have to schedule in some me time, some you time in our calendar where we know that during this particular time, this is it. There is nobody else coming in. There is no distraction. I'm gonna be over here. I'm gonna go in my closet and close the door. Whatever it is, you have to get some of that me time at least two times a day, preferably three. That's why I do my meditation Mondays on, on YouTube live. I do them at 6 a.m. early before all the brains are up and all the energies are up in the universe and everything else down here. I try to go early, get people, before they get ready for work, before they get in the shower, get their kids up to school, get them in there, let them get that me time in. And then if they can break away one more time, even if they go sit in their car for 20 minutes, instead of taking a full one hour lunch, maybe they take a partial time, they take 20 more minutes out of that lunch, they sit in their car, drive somewhere and park, close the doors, everything, just relax and meditate for about 20 minutes. I think that just those couple of meditations a day will, all, will hugely change the way they perceive the world, the way they perceive themselves and how they respond and react to situations going on.